What is the one thing you have when you were 17 and don't have now? Besides body issues like knees and ankles at work, I really miss my imagination. I used to draw, paint and write. I enjoyed being creative. After my divorce many moons ago, I had to work two or three jobs to be able to live and pay child support. Wasn't much time for anything besides sleep and trying to have a relationship with someone. Now that I am done with all that and have a great partner, I am not interested in any of it. It bores me to sit down and try and paint or draw. My mind tells me it's a waste of time and I could be doing something better to make money. Nothing. Maybe I had more free time but I wasted it on games and porn. Maybe I saw my friends more but I didn't forge any real connection with them I only know one person from high school now. Now when I see the friends I've made in the past few years, it's not everyday but it's more meaningful. I didn't have the medicine I needed and I didn't have the skills I have today. Life gets better in your mid-twenties. My full brain. Literally, at age 17 I had brain surgery, which removed a golf ball sized portion of my right temporal lobe. Very thankfully it was a complete success and I haven't had a single seizure in over a decade, after being born epileptic. Amazingly, I didn't even lose any functionality after the surgery and all it cost me was a golf ball sized piece of brain. A relatively stable troposphere meteorology? Shit didn't seem nearly this bleak back in the 90s when we had a balanced federal budget and gas cost 69 cents gallon, but we also had grunge, alt rock and emo to rock it out too, and concerts only cost $10. Napster? Monica Lewinsky jokes? OJ Simpson and Bart Simpson were still both national heroes. I had a 1994 Mazda Miata, put coilovers and wheels on it and drifted the fuck out of it. Had over 200k miles when I bought it and I spent a few years bashing that thing off the rev limiter daily. Never broke down, never left me stranded. Fantastic car. I miss it. My health. At 22 I got diagnosed with POTS and now at 33 I am on dialysis with kidney failure awaiting transplant. I have a 2 year old son and I would do anything to have my health back just so I could give him the amount of energy he deserves. A delusional amount of self confidence it's probably better to have a realistic understanding of things, but it was nice to been able to keep coming back for more all the time without ever second guessing anything. A sense that I have my whole life ahead of me and that anything's possible. You don't appreciate that feeling at the time, but wait until you reach 50, the memory will seem like being back in the womb. A big dick lol. I've pretty much doubled in weight and this has caused my dick to be hidden by layers of fat lol. It's still average but not impressive like it was. Back pain. Edit Miss Reed, I have back pain, I use not to. Although when I was 17 I had knee pain from being overweight and now I've lost the weight and pain. My youth. I'm 67 now. What I wouldn't give to go back and redo my life from 17 on. But I suppose there are a lot of people who would like a do over. Time. I work a lot and have two kids under 4 right now. I used to just sit and watch TV while practicing guitar all day sometimes. It was glorious. Cancer. When I was 17, I got diagnosed leukemia. Made a full recovery just before my 18th birthday. 25 now and things are looking better than ever. An ultra soft skin and a razor sharp jawline. The ability to wake up fresh next day after playing soccer for 6 hours and playing in the midfield. A crappy boyfriend who dumped me and knowing his life is a disaster is fantastic been married for many years. Thank you for dumping me. My first real weed pipe. Lost it in a move years ago or something. People who own and use that sort of thing are prone to misplacing it. This naive idea that the world was a hopeful place and people would stop being stupid when they grow up and reached adulthood. Definitely the will to live. I mean I'm not about the KMS. But if someone was dropping a bomb I wouldn't be fucking for cover. A sense of impending doom about global nuclear war and a much more able mind than I have today. An instant erections off. A minimally tainted, hopeful outlook for a mostly normal, a prosperous shot at life. Science student loans at 17 and a really gross hot pink mesh tank top from Supre that I was peer pressured into buying. No, it didn't look cool, just good health for drinking alcohol. Now I still don't get drunk easily. But I get to vomit after one or two vodka shots. A 1970 olds 442. A decent golf swing. A dick that stayed hard all the time and lots of girls to play with. Being a child in basically every way having no experience, or the ability to work through problems or issues. Hair. I had a head full of hairs. Now, I have a full beard but no hairs on the top of my head. Scared face. I am sure many say money but for me? Plastic crack. Always wanted to play but could never afford it. Cassette recorder. I used to make mixtapes, 
which I still no device to play them on. My natural right eyeball. I have an eyeball in my right eye socket now, but it's artificial. Freedom from the government stealing money from you. Oh, they call it taxes not theft. A smoking hot goth girlfriend. Although I now have an ex-smoking hot goth wife of 45 years. A very high metabolism. Eight whatever. I was 100 pounds now I have to do math every time I eat. Hormones coursing through my body. In other words, I am not horny all the time nowadays. Money. Working at a grocery store and living at home with basically no bills. Good times. Suicidal tendencies. At a time mean that I wanted to die, I've never heard of the band. Pretty hair, a cheery disposition, no shame and poor decisions of my past, yada yada. The ability to disconnect and actually be out of touch. The 90s were great for that. I always like these questions and see what people answer because I'm 17 at the moment. Not being liable for everything. The tiny piece of freedom that was gone a year later. Hope that my generation would not turn out like the ones that damaged the lack of experience. Life has improved a lot and I am much better than before 34 OI. Non-sagging breasts. They don't exactly sag now, but they are not the same when 17. Being able to actually function. I am now 19 and I've been unwell since May rip. A six pack, now married and almost 30, we are looking more like a potato sack. Physical health, optimism for the future, friends, a father, some innocence. Thinking I had all the time in the world to decide what to do with my life. The ability to sleep less than 7 hours a night and still function the next day. A body weight appropriate for my height and fully functioning left ankle. A delicious bright red Ford Mustang. My daddy spoiled his little girl. At least one parent. Dad passed when I was 16, mom passed when I was 20. Will to live. Good body inside and out. Energy mental and physical. A body that actually worked. 36 years old with knee and back issues suck. Untreated mental health issues. I take medication now and it's great. Bed spins. I don't get them anymore. Guess I'm a seasoned adult now. Hair on the top of my head. Faith in humanity. Hope for the future. Constant butterflies in my stomach when being around or with girls. The ability to sleep in a contortionist position and wake up find. Friends, girlfriends, and family. Thinking about getting a dog. The one. I'm 22 and never felt that way towards another person. Thick eyebrows I didn't pluck to oblivion later in the late 90s. Life without chronic illnesses. Hope to have children one day. Naps. I miss naps. I could just z z z z z z anywhere I wanted lol. Suicidal ideations. Hey, I got better I go to therapy now. The non-existent feeling of impending doom or incarceration. A girlfriend. Asked if could have one now too. Wife said no. Economy air travel that wasn't the design to break your soul. Being able to get up zero times for a pee during the night. What I used to do all night now takes me all night to do. A Ziploc bag full of lotion in between my mattresses. Columbia record subscription and multiple daily blowjobs. My mother's nose. Had it recarved into a very cute one. All my teeth it's kinda pissing me off I need implants. Complete self-acceptance and unapologetic authenticity. Free housing and blissful ignorance about adulthood. The ability to sleep past 5am especially at weekends. A sweet Pantera t-shirt. One day it was just gone. Time to do the things I really enjoy in summers off. Hair. My dad. My Legos. A low tolerance for alcohol. Men don't mind your weight be confident in yourself. Boobs that stayed in the same place without a bra. I guess I had I had more time but that's really it. 